Hello and welcome back to A Moment of Focus. It has been a minute since we last spoke, but we're back and better than ever, ready to bring you the latest and greatest compliance updates and resources. As always, I'm your host, Caleb Diaz. Now let's talk compliance. I'm sure everyone is excited for the initial filing of Form CRS to be officially behind us, but the fun isn't over just yet because now the document needs to be delivered to all existing retail clients by July 30th. So how will you send this document to each and every client? Well, I'm glad you asked because there's a few ways to get it out. First off, you can deliver it the old fashioned way and send it in the mail as a standalone document or in a delivery along with information that your firm already provides, such as along with account statements or other reports. If you deliver by mail, you must ensure that the relationship summary is the first document the client will see. If you typically satisfy your form ADV delivery requirements electronically, for example, via a portal or by email, you can deliver this document in the same way. However, if you choose this option, Form CRS must be displayed prominently as a link or by placing the full document in the body of the email. Whichever way you choose to deliver the CRS, keep in mind that it must be easily accessible for retail investors. Going forward, there are a couple of requirements for delivering your Form CRS to new and existing clients. For instance, you must deliver this document to a new or existing client at or before the time you open a new account that is different from the retail investor's existing account. Also, you must deliver a form CRS if you recommend that the retail investor roll over assets from a retirement account into a new or existing account or investment. Or if you recommend or provide a new brokerage or investment advisory service or investment that does not necessarily involve the opening of a new account and would not be held in an existing account. Additionally, as part of the form CRS delivery requirements, the document needs to be posted prominently on your firm's website by July 30th. Now, this doesn't mean you have to create a link in the middle of your homepage with pop-ups and bright flashing lights screaming at retail investors to view the CRS, but more to mean that if a client were to be searching your page, they could easily find a link to the CRS with a quick glance around. One example we've seen is firms placing a link on the bottom of the page near the typical about, contact us, or other information section. We understand that this is a lot of new information to take in, so to help guide you through this process, we've organized a document with some important dates, tips, and links that should help answer any questions you may have. As always, feel free to send us an email or give us a call if you require any extra guidance surrounding the delivery requirements. That's all for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to us on YouTube and LinkedIn, where we'll post all of our previous podcasts and any updates. Have a great week and stay compliant.